Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the two new operators available in the Skull Rain expansion for Rainbow Six Siege. First, we'll be taking a look at the offensive operator Cappy Tau. He comes with a crossbow with two different firing functions. This first one here is an asphyxiating bolt that causes damage over time, but a lot of damage over a little bit of time. So you got to get out of here once they land. They can also be used as a method for blocking off a hallway. He has two shots of those and then can switch between two shots with micro smoke grenades, which are exactly what they sound. They're just fired from a crossbow. And I actually like the crossbow quite a bit because it gives you options. You're not just relegated to one specific tactic. You can either decide to obstruct vision or make an area unusable for a little while or try and flush people out. The crossbow is very easy to use. It's accurate. Um, and you can quickly whip it out and put an asphyxiating bolt in an area and then make your attack or fire off all your bolts at once to create some smoke and asphyxiating bolts on the inside, creating kind of just a chaotic area that could potentially lure the enemies in. Now, aside from having an incredibly versatile and fun to use gadget, he also has one of my new favorite guns in the game, the M249. He comes with a Para 308 as well, but uh, that one just seems to be a little bit too standard for me. The M249 has a 100 round magazine. If you configure it right, you can shoot it with very little recoil overall. And it is just absolutely excellent for room to room fighting where there aren't reinforced walls. You can shoot through the walls. You can sort of aim for the head, strafe next to the doorway, keep firing rounds. A hundred rounds will let you win out the firefight without having to take a reload. In a game with so much destruction, having almost unlimited bullets in a firefight comes in handy more often than you might think. Now, as much fun as he is to play, he does have a few weaknesses. He doesn't really have any good breaching capabilities unless you want to like expend his whole magazine making a hole in the wall or something like that. You're certainly going to alert the enemies to your position. So he doesn't really have any breaching charge options. But as long as you work with your teammates who can breach or just go through doorways with massive force, you also have some frag grenades to back them up. So basically, Capitao's destructive power is insane in this game, and you can just kind of brute force your way into rooms and winning firefights. His quantity of bullets can also be used effectively as a suppression tactic. If you know somebody's peeking a corner frequently, you can take little pot shots at that corner, keeping them from peeking it. And you don't really have to worry about reloading because if you're just tap firing a few shots here and there to keep them from peeking a certain angle, well, you got a hundred rounds in that mag again, and it can give your teammates enough time to go around and flake around a different angle. Now, often what happens in this game is the attacking team sort of surrounds the room that they need to breach. There's a few defenders left in the room and they need to really distract those defenders and put them off guard because defending in this game has a pretty big advantage. You can kind of post up behind the best cover and just watch the angles. Well, Capitao is great at shooting in some asphyxiating bolts and smoke grenades all at once to kind of throw people no, no, off. It obstructs visual okay. angles and it can cut off certain areas of the room. So if they have to move last second because you put an asphyxiating bolt in their hiding spot, all of a sudden it throws things off. It keeps them off balance and that is the perfect moment to breach into a room. He has a lot of really good distracting techniques. Plus, if you want, you can also throw in two more frag grenades after that and just really tear things up. Really, he's the only class that can combine smoke grenades and frag grenades. So imagine smoking up a room, obstructing all the little obstacles and stuff in that room, and then throwing frags in there. It's just going to be chaos for the enemy team, and you'll probably get a kill. So I like Cappy Tau a lot. Given the right map with a lot of destruction, I think he's probably one of my new favorite operators. How about the defensive operator, Cavera? Rather than having having a unique gadget, Kavera has a unique ability called Silent Step. This puts her into sort of a silent mode. Her screen turns a little bit green and she pulls out her sidearm, which is a really powerful, cool, suppressed pistol. While she's in this mode, she can swiftly move around the map while making minimal sounds. So this is basically the perfect tool for sneaking up on the enemy. Sound is probably one of the most important tools in Rainbow Six Siege. And if you can activate an ability which suppresses your sound completely, then that's going to be a huge advantage for getting around the map and sneaking up on your foes. Granted, if the enemy knows where you are and you're sort of backed up into a room, this ability isn't going to have too much effect as they already kind of know where you are. But on bigger open maps with lots of flanking routes, 
uh, in defensive locations where Kavera can kind of roam around. This makes her a very, very effective roamer. Now granted, at higher levels of play, people are already expecting other players to be tiptoeing around, crouch walking or just walking so that they don't make any sound. So they're probably already going to be watching their angles. Her ability, I imagine, is going to be less effective when going up against really, really good players. Now, the other thing that is sort of tied into this unique ability is that if there's ever a downed operator that is downed but not out, they're still alive, their teammates can revive them, but they're just disabled on the ground, Kavera can go up to them and interrogate them. And if you successfully complete an interrogation, the entire enemy team will be visible for a short period of time to you and all of your teammates. So if timed right or used to mass effect, you can actually wreck the entire enemy team. Now granted, doing an interrogation is not all that common and trying to rely on this ability is not necessarily the best tactic out there. Whereas you take other operators and you can rely on their abilities pretty much all the time, Kavera's abilities are more circumstantial and you won't be able to make use of them necessarily every single game. But if you find that generally speaking you're already kind of a sneakier player, then Kavera could be your dream operator. She also has two pretty decent weapons. The M12 SMG is fun to shoot. It's got virtually no recoil, so you can headshot with it all day. And then she also has a Spaz 15, basically fully automatic shotgun that is very effective. It's not necessarily as powerful as uh, some of the pump actions have been per shot, but it can still down people incredibly fast. And then of course she also comes with the ever useful nitro cell for taking down shielded operators, people behind walls. It's just useful in just about any defensive situation. Now this map that I'm playing is fairly large and offers me a lot of flanking options. So as we're playing defensively, I'm sort of waiting for the operators to come in. I get one guy as he comes through the skylight over here. I just I'm straight up listening for it, but then my other teammates are engaging other operators on other sides of the map, and I could sort of run over to where they are and engage them from the same angle, but instead I decide to go into Kavera's stealth mode and sneak around the map really fast. Now, I feel safer running down hallways like this because enemy operators aren't going to hear me coming. When I get really close, and then switch back to my primary and they actually do hear me but it's too late at that time and I'm able to get a master flank off just because I was stealth. And then of course if you're not necessarily the best stealth player out there but you still want to try out Kavera, well it's pretty hard to argue with the brute force of an automatic shotgun, especially in Rainbow Six Siege. This last clip here you'll see me spam fire this thing at even medium range to absolutely obliterate my opponents and combine it with the nitro cell I'm able to hold off an entire enemy push. Anyway, that kind of wraps it up for this operator overview on the Skull Rain expansion for Rainbow Six Siege. If you want more information or you want to download or buy the game, check the link in the video description. As always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off.